see some serious. Hello, 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 hello! Welcome, 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 one and all, to the big nerd pub quiz coming to you. Good evening, and welcome to the big nerd pub quiz coming to you live from my bedroom here in Restrava. It's been quite a few couple of days here, uh, here in Restrava. I have to say, like, it's been amazing seeing the channel grow. You're all here to play a quiz, and big hello to everyone out there who's joined us tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. It's going to be a good one. Unlike last time where the quiz was quite, quite nerdy, and I appreciate it was, we've made some new changes. We've added new rounds. Tonight, there is going to be eight. Eight rounds in total. We've got brand new, uh, brand new topics, including geography, arts and literature, history and politics, two general knowledge rounds, and uh, movies, of course, and a music round. But hopefully, we're not actually going to play any music uh, well, because of last time, obviously, with the whole copyrighted thing, like, you know, but uh, a big shout out to everyone who's listening tonight, my friends and family from all around the world who's tuned in. In case you're wondering, this is how to play Big Nerd Pub Quiz. So obviously, you're here on YouTube. Live stream is started. It's, we're, we're, it's 8 o'clock. All you have to do is click on the Google link below in the description. Very, very simple. Not too hard at all. And then up comes a whole load of multiple choice questions. Now, there's loads of answers there, but of course there's no answer uh, questions. This is where I come in. The quiz is gonna run for the next about hour and a half or so. Just fill in the questions, just one correct answer for each question. Bar one, I think there's one with the multiple choice. And once the quiz is finished, just uh, hit submit your answers before the before I call time, and that's about it. We recommend before we begin to get, get everyone some time to get tuned in and everything, we're going to uh, use a TV or laptop to stream the quiz, and use your phones to answer the questions. All right, of course, uh, without, uh, it was great, absolutely absolute fantastic seeing all the photographs that you guys all watching around the world. Uh, use the hashtag Big Nerd Pub Quiz to get involved, of course, in all the social media channels over here, of course. Uh, we're on Facebook, of course, that's the main one. We're on Twitter as well, of course, YouTube and Instagram. They haven't been playing fair recently, actually. They've, uh, they've, um, they've actually restricted my account for some reason, but anyway. Get involved, get all, share your stories. I love seeing them. Hopefully, I'll get to do some shout outs at some point. Uh, tonight's prize, of course, we have a new sponsor. Born Iron Tees are giving away this rather snazzy Father Ted t shirt. Yes, that's uh, the Father Ted t shirt. I've had my phone, and that's all that matters. I think it was Father Finton Stack that said that. So, big up to Born Iron Tees. And if you want to actually access the site, if you like the t-shirts, check it out. There's loads of really cool kind of locally themed stuff in there uh, for all you Gawa heads and Game of Thrones fans and stuff like that. Some fantastic t-shirts, really high quality as well. And use the promo code BIGQUIZ for a 10% discount. Okay. Of course, like I said before, we're on all the social media platforms as well. This quiz is absolutely free to you to use. Uh, of course, um, by all means, if you like the content tonight, if you really enjoyed it, you know, to please feel free to donate to the Patreon there. It's Patreon forward slash uh, Big Nerd Pub Quiz. 
uh, and if you know donate doing a bit of a blind boy here like I said donate the price of a pint or a, you know a cup of coffee you know if you like what you see and I'll continue to make I'll continue to make these as uh, as long as uh, as long as I can okay it's coming off just it's just five past uh, eight there in the evening the 25th of March 2020 and this of course is the second big nerd pub quiz we're going to give everyone a little bit of chance to just get settled down get ready for this of course uh, one other thing to mention obviously like uh, big up, uh, all the lovely media reviews I've seen all over the papers uh, Morn Observer, Q Radio, Irish News, uh, BBC Radio Ulster and the Nuala McKeever show thank you so much for having me tonight uh, yeah, this afternoon it was absolutely fantastic such a privilege to be on uh, and obviously, you know, there are whole news feeds and all clogged up with this uh, this crisis that we're going through. I'm not going to mention the C word tonight. That is off the cards. We're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy ourselves and have a bit of crack. I hope everyone's uh, all back, uh, all enjoying themselves back at home. Let's take a look. Let's get playing. Let's get playing the very first round of the second ever Big Nerd Pub Quiz live on YouTube tonight here from my bedroom in Restrever. Hope you're all ready and I hope you all really enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to turn off the, the live streaming comments for this, by the way. Uh, obviously, because of the last time, it was uh, a lot of people were like, uh, pushed the answers out there. You know the answers. So obviously, that's great. Use it in the actual uh, quiz itself. Don't actually be sharing it. That's uh, disable the live chat now. Okay, so here we go. Here's our first round of the evening. The first round tonight is general knowledge. I said, listen to all your feedback. Listen to all your feedback. Thought it was fantastic. We knew the quiz was pretty nerdy. I thought, that, like I said, this was coming for all my mates. Like I said, uh, I've uh, broadened the appeal a bit. So let's see how you get on. And let me know what you think of the questions, of course, and hopefully get a bit of a shout out for you. So here we go. Here's the very first question of the second ever Big Nerd Pub Quiz. Here we go. So round one, question one. What is the nautical term for the front of a ship? What is the nautical term for the front of a ship? That's round one, question one. Hey, question two, round one, question two. The Kemp brothers, uh, one of them later starred in EastEnders, were members of which 1980s pop group? The Kemp brothers, one of whom later starred in EastEnders, were members of which 1980s pop group? Okay, the next one, round one, question three. Who won the first ever UK Celebrity Big Brother nearly 20 years ago in 2001? Round one, question three. Who won the very first ever UK Celebrity Big Brother nearly 20 years ago in 2001? Round one, question four. In cookery, the name of which Goanne's dish of pork, potatoes, chili and vinegar it's now a term applied to a very hot curry. Round one, question four. In cookery, the name of which Goanese dish of pork, potatoes, chili, and vinegar is now the name applied to a very hot curry. Sure, some of you will get this. Round one, question five. In which city was the DeLorean car made famous by the Back to the Future films built? Round one, question five. In which city was the DeLorean car made famous by the Back to the Future films built? And round one, question six. What is the English term used to describe the famous Shinkansen high-speed train? Round one, question six. What is the English term used to describe the famous Shinkansen high-speed train? All 
All right, let's give you a chance to start other questions. So you can see on your screen the questions for round one. Every round will be read out once, and then we'll have a quick summary at the end for you to catch up if you missed a few. Handy tip, a lot of people were actually texting in, actually saying they were using a pen and paper to, to make a note of the questions. So yeah, if it ever works for you, let us know how you're going on, okay. So, so that was round one, the first general knowledge quest, uh, quiz, nerd quiz here, right from my book. Okay, hope you're already strapped in for the next round, it's history and politics. In politics. All right, here we go. Six questions, basically basic questions on history, politics from around the world. Round two, question one. Who was the first American astronaut in space? Who was the first American astronaut in space? That's round two, question one. Give you a clue, it's one of those guys in that photograph. Round two, question two. Boris Johnson's partner is having a baby. Name the other two UK Prime Ministers who have fathered children whilst in office in the last 100 years. And this is a multiple choice one. You can pick two, it's one point for each. So Boris Johnson's partner is having a baby. Name the other two UK Prime Ministers who have fathered children just in office within the last 100 years. Round 2, question 3. Which sovereign country was the first in the world to give women the right to vote in 1893, albeit not allowing women to stand for Parliament until 1919? And round 2, question 3. Sovereign country was the first in the world to give women the right to vote in 1893, albeit not allowing women to stand for Parliament until 1919. Okay, here's an interesting one. Round two, question four. What was the first surname shared by two presidents of the United States? And two, question four, what was the first surname shared by two presidents of the United States? Maybe they were related. Maybe they were like father and son. Maybe they were just cousins. Maybe they just had the same surname. That has happened a few times, so you rack your brains on that one, okay? Find out who you think it is. Next one, round two, question five. Now is the winter of our discontent, or the first line spoken by which monarch in the eponymous play by Shakespeare. His burial site was discovered in a car park in Leicester in 2013. Now is the winter of our discontent, or the first lines spoken by which monarch in the eponymous play. His burial site was discovered in a car park in Leicester in 2013. Very famous archaeological find that. And finally, final question of the history and politics round. Which empire which was dissolved at the end of the First World War was ruled by the Habsburg monarchs? Round two, question six. Which empire which was dissolved at the end of the First World War was ruled by the Habsburg monarchs? Sum up round two for you there. Remember, if you don't know the answer to any of these, by all means, there's like, you know, we try to get as many variations of answers as we can. Worst comes to worst, just have a punt. You never know. You've got like a one in ten chance probably for every question. Of course, you could use Google. But again, you know, cheating, well, you know, you're only cheating yourself. You know, this is a big nerd pub quiz. Try to pretend like you're in a pub and you don't have a phone pretend it's 1996 there you are all right that was the history and politics round 
next one we're going to go for is the music round. Let's have a look at the music round. Round three. This is going to be a bit of a music round with a difference. Of course, we're not going to use copyrighted music in this instance because we know the last time when that happened, uh, we had a little bit of a, a sound issue because uh, YouTube doesn't like it when you use copyrighted music. Who would have thought? Anyway, this round is very, very simple. We're going to show you six album covers. All you have to do is get the name of the album. Don't worry if you're stumped. I'll give you a clue for each album cover that you see, okay? So, let's get going. Round three, question one. You're looking at an album cover there by one of the most successful British female artists in the last 10 years. She famously numbers her albums, but which one is this one? Okay. Next one. Round three, question two. The clue here is that this is a very, very, very successful Irish band who've had a string of number one hits and albums across the world. But which one is this one? Okay, round three, question three. You're looking at the CN Tower, which is a very, very prominent landmark in Toronto. It's a clue of the artist. All I'm looking for is the title of the album. So I've given you a clue about the artist, but all I need is the title of the album. If you know it, it's fine. Round three, question three. Round three, question four. We've got a very, very minimalist album cover here. Much like their music, these German pioneers of electronic music pushed boundaries and inspired many. In fact, some would say they more influential than the Beatles themselves. What's the name of this album? Okay, round three, question five. A very famous London landmark. Grade one listed building, the largest brick building ever built. This is a Battersea power station in the south of the city. It was recently restored. The chimneys were recently restored there. But which band, which progressive rock band from the 1970s made this icon even more iconic? Name of the album. And finally, round three, question six. This is a pop rock group from Sheffield. It's a pop, Brit pop. Yeah, we'll go for Brit pop. Brit pop group from Sheffield. String of number one hits in the 1990s. Rivaled Oasis and Blur, of course. Music's Iconic, seminal. I've actually met the lead singer once, nice guy. You have a radio show on BBC Six. But the album. I need the name of the album. And here's your summary. Questions for round three. Have a summary for of all the albums there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Except before, if you don't know it, just have a guess. Alright. Thanks very much for that. I hope you enjoyed that music question <laughs> music round with no music. Um, of course at the very end, we're gonna fire through the whole quiz. And at the very, very end, all you have to do is hit submit, and we'll pick out a winner. Well, in fact, we're going to announce the winner of the last Big Nerd Pub Quiz at the very end of round four, halfway through. Our 
next run tonight is and four movie. Nerd pop quiz if we didn't have a nerdy film run. Uh, hope you're all ready. Hope you've all moved on to the next uh, section on your phones or on your tablets or what have you. Uh, and we're going to give this next round a go. This is the first question. And for question one. What was the name of the 1995 film adaptation of the classic children's novel The Sheep Pig by Dick King Smith? Nice easy one to start you off with there. Round four, question one. What was the name of the 1995 film uh, of the adaptation of the classic children's novel The Sheep Pig by Dick King Smith? I know exactly what you're all going to say when you see this image. You're going to you're going to shout it at the screen. But anyway, round four, question two. Somebody, the song "All Star" by the band Smash Mouth appeared uh, first appeared on the soundtrack to which film? Round two, question four. The song "All Star" by the band Smash Mouth first appeared on the soundtrack to which film? Round four, question three. Which is which room is Danny Torrance forbidden to enter in the Overlook Hotel in the 1980 Stanley Kubrick film, The Shining? So which room is Danny Torrance forbidden to enter in the Overlook Hotel in the 1980 Stanley Kubrick film, The Shining? Possibly one of my favorite horror movies of all time. All right. So that's round four, question three. Moving on, round four. Question four. Now, this is an interesting one here. Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix won the Best Actor Academy Award for their portrayals of the Joker. This is the second time this has happened. Name the only other on-screen character that has won Oscars for two different actors. Now, if you need me to explain that, Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix both played the Joker and they both won Oscars for it. But... Another character won Oscars for two other actors a long time ago. All I'm looking for is the name of the character. Okay, you've got a load of options there. Right, right. Think about great performances of great characters if they were ever played twice and by two different actors. That's, that's what I always say. Round four, question five. Which actor known for films such as Knocked Up and The Interview made a small cameo appearance in the 2002 film Donnie Darko? Round four, question five. Which actor known for films such as Knocked Up and The Interview made a small cameo appearance in the 2002 Donnie Darko? 2002 film, sorry. And it's amazing, once you watch it back, you're like, oh my god, that, that's him! Yeah. He was kind of mildly famous before that, anyway. He was in a very, very well-known TV show before that. That's enough for me. Uh, round four, question five. Moving on. Round four, question six. Who was the musician who composed the soundtrack to the 1971 film Shaft, as well as providing the voice to the character Chef in South Park? Round four, question six. Who was the musician who composed the soundtrack to the 1971 film Shaft, as well as providing the voice to the character Chef in South Park? And there's your round four movie round roundup. All six questions on the screen there. Remember, at any time, if you've come late to this, by all means, you can pause the screen, go back. Best tip of his is to find these question pages. By all means, answer them as fast as you can and get back to the live stream. Because you only get so many minutes to submit your final answers at the end. If you just joined us, this is the Big Nerd Pub Quiz coming from live from my bedroom in Restrever. Of course, don't forget to interact. I love seeing your pictures of you guys around the world watching this as it happens. A uh, big thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, 
like, subscribe, push the notification button for any new videos and stuff like that. Also get involved in the social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It all makes sense. All uh, tune in obviously with the um get involved with the uh, the hashtag big nerd pub quiz in there. Don't forget tonight you're all playing for uh, a prize from our brand new sponsor, Nor9 Tees. You're giving us a really funky Father Ted t-shirt to give away. Uh, really happy to see that actually it's a friend of mine she's uh, stepped in to give us a prize of course the last prize uh, the last uh, Saturday's Big Nerd Pub Quiz was a £50 Amazon gift voucher but unfortunately uh, I'll be giving those away every weekend really not made the money speaking of which if you want to donate uh, a little bit of anything you can you know it really means a lot to me patreon.com forward slash big nerd pub quiz it all matters. Like, it, it, like this has become almost like a full time job for me. Uh, it takes about three days to prep this. I'll continue to make them. If you love doing these quizzes, by all means, I'll continue to make them. Uh, I, I love quizzes myself. I love making them. Oh, it's so much fun to do. And of course, to announce the winner of the Big Nerd Pub Quiz, uh, the first Big Nerd Pub Quiz. Gary Boyd, you are the recipient of a £50 Amazon gift voucher. Gary Boyd, you've sent me your email there. How we've picked it, we didn't bother going to a tiebreaker. Basically, the people who got the top score, I put them into an internet randomizer and pick one out of the hat. So that's how we're going to be doing it tonight. Uh, you can win that funky, funky t-shirt. The uh, um, from Northern Iron Tees. And don't forget to use the, the promo code BIGQUIZ for 10% discount. Check out our website. It's fantastic. NornIronTees.com All right. Round five. And I know some of you are going to either love this or you're going to hate it. But we've got it. Bit. Round five. Sports. Okay, here we go. Straight into the sports round. Round five. Question one. In Rugby Union, which club team were the first to ever win the Heineken Cup? So in Rugby Union, which club team were the first winners of the Heineken Cup in 1995? I'll give you a clue, it wasn't an Irish team. We weren't that good back then. In fact, we were kind of useless. So that should narrow it down for you. Don't worry, if you don't know, just take a stab. There might be another one in there. Something you know, something that jogs out, something that jumps out. So that's round five, question one. Round five, question two. A chucker is the term used to describe a period of play in which field sport? That's round five, question two. A chucker is the term used to describe a period of play in which field sport? Round five, question three. Name the British athlete who won gold in the 1500 meters at the Moscow Olympics. He later became a Tory peer in the House of Lords and head of the organizing committee for the London 2012 Games. Round five, question three. Name the British athlete who won gold in the 1500 meters at the Moscow Olympics and who later became a Tory peer and House of, in the House of Lords and head of the organizing committee for the London 2012 Games. In this next question to my dad, uh, who recommended this one, you gotta have some about horse racing in there, Mark. <laughs> Round five, question four. Tiger Roll won the Grand National back to back in 2018 and 2019. Name his jockey. So, round five, question four. Tiger Roll won the Grand National in, 19, uh, in 2018 and 2019. Name You happy, Dad? We got a we got a horse racing question in there. <laughs> it's always one. It's a football one for everyone. Round five, question five: Which English football team has won the FA Cup the most times without ever having won the first division or the Premier League title? Round five, question five: Which English football team has won the FA Cup the most times without actually winning? the first division, or the Premier League title. God, I miss football. I can tell you that. I really, really, really miss football. 
It's been too long. FIFA are actually live streaming games again. You can watch all World Cup matches, Champions League games on YouTube. Check it out. Last question down here below. Round five, question six. Lions, Tigers and Red Wings play American football, baseball and ice hockey, respectively, in which American city? So Lions, Tigers and Red Wings. Oh my. Play American football, baseball and ice hockey, respectively, in which American city? Here's your round up for round five. Okay, guys, the, on to the next one, I think. Uh, round five, we're going on. We're a, a suggestion that came from America, an old college friend of mine in the States. She wanted to see this one. Round six, arts and literature. I suppose we all got time to read the now. But let's see how you get on with this. We've got six questions of arts and literature coming your way. Here we go. So, this easy one to start you off with. Round six, question one. Drood, Dorrit, Deronda, and Pickwick are the surnames of titular characters by which well-known author? Drood, Dorrit, Deronda, and Pickwick are the surnames of titular characters by which well-known author? Round six, question two. MoMA is a famous gallery in New York City. What does MoMA stand for? Round six, question two. MoMA is a famous gallery in New York City. What does MoMA stand for? Round six, question three. What was the name of the studio owned by pop artist Andy Warhol, which was also the name of the record labels established by Tony Wilson, which signed the likes of Joy Division and the Happy Mondays? Round six, question three. What was the name of the studio owned by pop artist Andy Warhol, which was also the name of the record label established by Tony Wilson, which was signed the likes of Joy Division and the Happy Mondays. Round six, question four. The name of the author who shared the Booker Prize in 2019 with Bernadine Evaristo, who is best known for the dystopian work, The Handmaid's Tale. Round six, question four. The name of the author who shared the Booker Prize in 2019 with Bernadette Evaristo, who is best known for the dystopian work, The Handmaid's Tale. It's uh, funny how no, uh, no dystopian future ever shows people sharing art over line. It's been amazing seeing this. Uh, round six, question five. What is the name of the group of art galleries uh, established by a wealthy sugar magnate in the 19th century? I'll say that again. Round six, question five. What is the name of a group of art galleries established by a wealthy sugar magnate in the 19th century? I'll give you a clue. Open your cupboard. You might have some of the sugar in there. Still making it. And the final question of round six. Which theatre in Dublin is home to the Irish National Theatre and was the site of the famous riot at the 1907 premiere of The Playboy of the Western World by J.M. Singh? Round six, question six. Which theatre in Dublin is home to the Irish National Theatre and was the site of a famous riot in 1907 premiere of Playboy the Western World by J.M. Singh? And that's your roundup for Crown 6, the Arts and Literature Round.
Hey guys, I'm getting so many messages from you from all over, all over flooding my Instagram, flooding my Twitter. I, I can't read them all out. It's, it's amazing to see it. Uh, thank you so, so much for tuning in and, uh, and subscribing to this. It means so much to me. Uh, I absolutely love doing this and I'm loving that you're all enjoying it out there. Of course, like follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter and Facebook. All you have to do is just look up Big Nerd Pub Quiz and you'll be able to find it there. It's a reminder of what you could be in to win. Northern Iron Keys, you could win this Funky Father Ted t-shirt. Stand out from the crowd. Impress the ladies as soon as we can get out again. Or the, or the women, or the men. Uh, I've had my fun and that's all that matters by Finton Stack. If you're enjoying the quiz, of course, patreon.com forward slash big nerd pub quiz. Like I said before, quiz is free, but if you're enjoying it and you like to donate the price of a pint or a cup of coffee, I'll keep making them as long as this thing lasts. I swear to God. Got one more message in there uh, from Charlie and Camilla, uh, basically saying that they. Um... Oh, wrong one. Oh, it's the head. Skip ahead. Sorry about that. Just got a message there from Charlie and Camilla, who are self-isolating at the moment. Uh, Charlie, who's self-employed, uh, is out of work for a wee bit. Uh, we wish him all the best, of course. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. On to the next round. Round seven is another general knowledge one. This is the one-letter round. Key to this: every single answer, following six questions, is just Let's see how you get on. Round seven, question one. What is the code name of the MI6 agent ma gadget man in the James Bond film series? Round seven, question one. What is the code name of the MI6 gadget man in the James Bond film series? The new one, uh, No Time to Die, was actually postponed from its uh, April the 2nd premiere and it's been pushed back to the end of the year. I was really looking forward to that. It's going to be Daniel Craig's last outing as James Bond. It's fantastic in Skyfall and Spectre, of course, and Casino Royale. Oh, no, Alice, not so much. Uh, round seven, question two. I need the title of the 1931 silent film directed by German expressionist filmmaker Fritz Lang. Already won that one. The title of the 1931 silent film directed by Germanist expression filmmaker Fritz Lang. Of course, uh, was very famous for making the film Metropolis, a seminal sci fi film from 1925 Round 7, question 3, a science one. What is the chemical symbol for potassium? I need the chemical symbol for potassium. As you can see there, I've actually included every single letter of the alphabet, so you either know it or you don't. Have a go. If you don't, I'll give you a clue on this one. It's not P. Straight up, it's not P. Round 7, question 4, another nerdy one. The name of the 1980s science fiction series depicting an alien invasion of Earth. The name of a 1980s science fiction series depicting an alien invasion of Earth. Round 7, question 5. What is the Roman numeral for 50? What is the Roman numeral for 50? Round 7, question 6, final one of the round. According to Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, ain't nothing but a thing, baby. What is the blank? So qu round seven, question six. According to Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, it ain't nothing but a thing, baby. What's the blank? Oh, so many of you are probably going to be singing it now. And there's your roundup for the one letter 
round, round seven, another general knowledge one. Tricky enough, eh? Let's see if we can do one of those every week. We're gonna mix it up, of course. Uh, we've got, I've got plenty of ideas for that, like of course. So, uh, last round tonight. We hope you've all enjoyed it back at home. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Of course, you may have loved this subject in in school. You may have loathed it, but here's round eight. It's a geography round. And nice and easy one there. Round eight, question one. Which country's flag is also known as the Nish Nishoki or Sunrise flag? Right. Which country's flag is known as the Nishoki or Sunrise flag? Bear in mind, I did this when I was uh, when I was researching. There's a, quite a lot of countries that have the sun as their flag, but it's not that straightforward. Um, it might be the one you're thinking of. It, it, again, and again, again, it might not be. So, round eight, question two. Which North African country's flag was, up until 2011, a solid color of green? Round eight, question two. Which North African country's flag, which up until 2011, was a solid color of green? It's the only flag in the world that was just one color. It's changed, so that's uh, rendered that a little uh, pub quiz fact redundant, but. Oh well, still got to use it. Uh, obviously, a change happened in that particular country uh, in 2011, where a certain leader got deposed. It's a bit of a clue there for that one. Okay, uh, I'm dedicating this question to my buddy Jez, who's actually listening to this tonight. Uh, he's a New Zealander. He's a Kiwi himself. He's actually doing a podcast and podcasting himself doing this quiz. How meta is that? So big up, Jez. Good to see you, man. Uh, round eight, question three. Which constellation is represented on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Which constellation is represented on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Kiwis almost had a chance to change their flag a couple of years ago in a referendum. Uh, some amazing designs, including the famous laser kiwi, uh, which, which does pop up at sports events around the world as a kind of a semi-unofficial flag, but there you go. Uh, that's to you, Jez, buddy. Thanks for tuning in, man. Round 8, question 4. The famous Rumble in the Jungle fight between Ali and Foreman took place in Zaire, which is today known as what? So basically, which country did the Rumble in the Jungle happen in? What's it known as today? It was known as Zaire. At a very famous concert there, James Brown and everyone playing at it. Seminal, seminal fight back in the 70s. Big question for the famous Rumble in the Jungle fight between Ali and Foreman took place in Zaire, which is today known as what? It's a tricky one. It is a very tricky one, I can tell you that. Round 8, question 5. The flag of the United States of America shares a nickname with which? The title of the country's national anthem, written by Francis Scott Key. What are they both called? The flag of the United States of America shares its nickname with the title of the country's national anthem, written by Francis Scott Key. What are they both called? Interesting fun fact, that Francis Scott Key, the guy who wrote the American national anthem, uh, was an ancestor of F. Scott Fitzgerald, the writer of The Great Gatsby. So that's what uh, F stands for in F. Scott Fitzgerald. And finally, your final question of the night of the second Big Nerd Pub Quiz live on YouTube. Round eight, question six. Which country's flag does this belong to? So which country did this, does this flag belong to? Another interesting fun fact about this flag, it's the only one in the world which has a building on it. It's the only flag in the world to have a building on it. No little clue. You may have gone backpacking in there. Very, very popular to holiday destination. Ooh. No, 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 that's a little bit.
says there on the screen answers for around eight, but they're not the answers. They're just the questions. Uh, ignore that. A little bit of an editorial mix-up by myself. Um, so there, that's your roundup for round eight, the geography round, and that's it for this episode of the Big Nerd Pub Quiz live from Trevor and County Down. Okay, so the time now. Just gonna get an actual fix on the time. The time now is just 2046. We're gonna give you five minutes on a countdown. I'm gonna give you five minutes to get your questions all summated. Make sure you're happy with them. Not gonna go through them again. If you do wanna go, you can rewind the broadcast at any point. So 2046. You're giving, and giving you five minutes, and then I'm going to do a count sign, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to all the social media channels at Big Nerd Pub Quiz. It's 2051. I'm going to shut it down. 2051 is the closing time. 2051 is the last orders of the quiz. So those are the... Those are the social media extensions there, of course. Big Nerd Pub Quiz on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. We still don't have a YouTube URL yet. We are not old enough. We have to be 30 days to get a YouTube URL. Don't ask me why. That's how it works. But you can just Google us. Obviously, you're here. Uh, Big Nerd Pub Quiz on Facebook. I have to say, it's been absolutely amazing seeing all you guys tuning in. And obviously, hopefully no technical issues tonight. A few little editorial ones, I think, but, you know, all in all, quite well. Oh, See, no, someone said no one can submit. Let's see what happens. You have to put your email address in. If you're having problems, you have to put your email address in at the top. Email address in at the top. Okay. That's how you do it. Email address in at the top. If you're having problems submitting, email address in at the top. Question page froze round seven. Okay, we're having some technical problems with the quiz itself. If this comes to worse, we can go back through it. I'm sure, we've got nothing better to do. having a look at some of the responses is there any issue with the quiz itself on just gonna check this out can someone just text me and say let me know if error on round seven couldn't proceed hold on i'm gonna just double check round seven to make sure everything's kosher with it just give me a couple of seconds to me check All right, we're just checking out the issues here. Uh, anyone else has issues with the actual quiz? Stuck on round seven for some reason. Oh, shit. Let's have a look. My friend is saying to me, can't get past round seven for some reason. Alright, give me a couple of seconds. We're going to figure this one out. Hold on. Bear with me. We're going to take a break. We're going to take a quick break and see what happens, okay?
Okay, guys, I've got a lot of text messages in about round eight. I seem to figure it out. Uh, I've something, it was like a, a thing I didn't select to go on to the next one. Try it again. It should work now. Everyone try to do question eight. We can go back through question, the round eight to see what we can do. Let me know if it works. It should work now. Everybody try question eight again. All right, we're going to try question eight again. Let me know if it works. I know you're out there. You're looking in on me. Try question eight. Everyone, try question eight again. We're going to try round eight. We're going to try round eight again. We had a little bit of a technical mix up with the actual quiz itself. I've now fixed it. Uh, I think it's after question seven, go on to question eight. So yes, something I accidentally clicked. But yes, let's do the section right. Yep, seems to be it. It seems to work now. Everybody try it again. Can someone give me a... Uh, or anyone who's watching, Juliet, Jez, Steph, anyone? All good? Okay, cool. Let's go back. We'll, we'll do round eight again. Just for the sake of fairness, we're going to do round eight again. I'm just I'm getting a text message here from my friend Rebecca. Hopefully uh, something will be... We're up and running. Good man. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Find down to question eight. We'll go to question eight. All right, here we go. Back to the start there. So which round eight question one? Let's repeat round eight question one. It's the geography one. Happy days. Thanks, Robbie O'Brien. Buddy of mine from Dublin who's watching tonight. You're an absolute star. So back to question eight. Apologies. Thanks for bearing with me for that one. Thank you so much. Obviously a little bit of tea to make sure that box isn't checked next time. So here we go. <laughs> round eight question one. Which country's flag is known as the Nishoki or the Sunrise flag? Which country's flag is known as the Nishoki or the Sunrise flag? <laughs> Thanks, Jez. Uh, right, round eight, question two. Which North American, no, North African country's flag was up until 2011 a solid color of green? Which North African country's flag was up until 2011 a solid color of green? Which constellation is represented on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Question three. Which constellation is represented on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Pick up Jez and his podcast for that one. I really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Really, really do. Next one up. Here we go. Famous Rumble in the Jungle fight took between, between Ali and Foreman took place in Zaire, which is now known today as what country? Round 8, question 4. Famous Rumble in the Jungle fight between Ali and Foreman took place in Zaire, which is better known today as what country? Round 8, question 5. The flag of the United States of America shares its nickname with the title of the country's national anthem, which was written by Francis Scott Key. I want the names of that nickname and anthem. Photo there is of Charlie Duke, astronaut Charlie Duke, Apollo 16, actually leaping midair on the moon. Thanks for being with me on this one, guys. Round eight, question six. What country's flag does this belong to? And what country's flag does this belong to? Let's round up. Again, the questions for round eight, not the answers, but the questions. Okay, so just gonna give everyone about five minutes to cut up their answers and we'll get back. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna just do some shout outs here I've got from my phone from everyone who's actually texted in. So Rebecca Kowalski, Haley Holland, Zelia Pritchard, uh, Robbie O'Brien, Sean McCullough, Natalie Ennis, John Hancock, Rhoda McClure. Uh, over in the UK, we've got Juliet Remondu. Or Julia Gregory now, she's known now, and it's Jez, Kiwi, Rory Arnold, Steph, all the guys. Thank you so much for listening. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate everyone tuning in and taking part. Uh, we're going to keep them going. Big thanks to our sponsors. Here's what you can think tonight if you win the Big Nerd Pop Quiz. Yes, of course, it's a Nor 90s original designed t shirt. Rhoda McClure very kindly sponsored that. Use the code Big Quiz for a 10% discount. That's a 10% discount, big quiz on the Norn Iron Taste website. 
But as always, don't forget to like and share and subscribe for all the social media channels. Okay, according to my phone, we're going to bring it up to about 9. So by the time my my clock reaches 9, we're going to do the answers. So everyone start submitting. Oh, I'm seeing the responses coming in. I'm seeing the responses coming in. The, 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 the Google gods are making it work for some reason. Also, big shout-outs to Lisa Mullen, Cartwright, Lisa, Lisa Plunkett, Lynn Doherty, Tony Colgan, Colin Morrow, Natalie Eastwood, Lindsay Perry, Nick Griffiths, Dave Kerry, Dave Kelly, sorry, Zara Hughes, Rachel Louise, Mike McCready, Dan Toke, Dan Took, Ray Sweeney, Nicola Simmons, Jimmy McElinden, Noelle Jackson, Sarah Louise Kelly, Rosemary Johnson, Lindsay Nunu, Martin Panholder, David Mooney, Zoe Rogers, and we're getting tons. Of, I can't even go on to Instagram. There's so much stuff there. It's, there's so much. There's so much. Uh, there's so much. So many messages coming in. It's absolutely unbelievable. We're going to keep the Big Nerd Pub Quiz as soon as this one's over. We're going to be launching the next Big Nerd Pub Quiz, which is taking place this Saturday, 8 p.m. right here, right here on the YouTube channel. If you like what you're seeing, share using the hashtag Big Nerd Pub Quiz. Subscribe and like on YouTube. It means so much to me to see the the view counts going up. It's been a phenomenal few days. I, I, this is an idea I actually came up with this time last week. And I'm amazed and astounded that people actually get involved with this. It's so cool to see this. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep doing them as long as you want me to. Uh, and as long as this lasts for it. But yes, by all means, uh, if you like what you see, by all means, this, uh, this quiz is sponsored by you, the viewer, and the competitor. So feel free to donate to Patreon.com, my Patreon page. Big Nerd Pub Quiz. Big up, Blind Boy. Give me the inspiration. On that one. Have a look at my old clock again. We got three. Uh, we got three minutes. We got three minutes. Robbie O'Brien just sent me a photo. Uh, we got three minutes left. According to my actually two minutes and then we're gonna do the answers two minutes I'm gonna do the content then we're gonna do the answers gonna check the old what's up how this works we're not gonna announce the winner tonight what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the time compile all the results and we'll we'll find out the winner in the next Big Nerd Pub Quiz, because oh, you think you've done well, and you think you're in with a shot, you tune in to the next one, it's this Saturday, 8pm, as always, live from my bedroom here in Restrever County Down. Okay, we got... Coming up, one more minute, one more minute. It's my, my old school Casio watch. Beeping there. One more minute, and then we're going to do the answers. We're going to go through all the answers. I know there's going to be some of these questions which you're going to be like, what the heck? You thought one such answer and the other. Bear in mind, I've tried to make this quiz as much more universal as I could. Obviously, kind of sticking to the whole nerd al uh, element of it. But yeah, second big nerd pub quiz. Apart from the little glitches and the little gremlins here and there, I think I'm going alright. So thank you very much. Alright. Gonna go in for... Time.
Hey, we've got a problem here. What did you do? Nothing. I stirred the tanks. Whoa. Hey. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. We have a main bus B undervolt. We've got a lot of thruster activity. It's, uh, Babe, of course, was, uh, sorry, Mystery Man was the movie, of course, that was used in, in, uh, the movie Shrek. Vito Corleone was the, the actual, the, the character. And, uh, Seth Rogen and Isaac Hayes, five and six there. Transition again. Next round, Toulouse were the first winners of the Heineken Cup. Polo is the Chaka period of play. Sebastian Coe, of course, the famous uh, runner uh, slash Tory peer. Davy Russell was the jockey who won the Grand National back to back. Bolton Wanderers were the first club, or the only club, to win the FA Cup most times without actually winning the league. And Detroit's the home of the Red Wings, the Tigers, and the Lions. Uh, round six. Dickens, of course. MoMA was uh, the Museum of Modern Art. Factory Records and Factory, the museum of, oh, sorry, the, the Andy Warhol uh, studio. Margaret Atwood was the writer of The Handmaid's Tale. And uh, Tate is the name of the sugar magnate who set up the series of galleries. Finally, the Abbey Theatre in Dublin was at the home of the riots of the J.M. Singh's riots. Uh, here's the letter questions. Q. Gadget Man and James Bond. M, the Fritz Lang movie from 1931. K, the symbol of potassium. V, the 1980s sci-fi series. L, the number 50. And G, Snoop Dogg. Nothing but a G thing, baby. And the answers for round eight. Japan, Libya, Southern Cross. Democratic Republic of Congo. Now that was a tricky one because there is another country called the Republic of Congo. But it was the Democratic Republic of Congo in Kinshasa where the actual rumble of the jungle took place. The Star Spangled Banner uh, was the American flag. And of course, Cambodia was the country with the only building in the world on its flag. That's all we have time for this evening. Thank you so much. For taking part in this big nerd pub quiz remember i know it's hard for everyone out there at this time i know people are worried and scared but don't worry i'm gonna make this quiz twice a week it's something for you to do something for you to take part in i'm really appreciative of everyone uh you know all the kind words of support and people taking part of course it's it's an it's a really mad time to be alive it feels like a really bad film with uh two very very badly cast uh, presidents and prime ministers eh? But uh, overall, I'm really happy at the response this has got. I'm going to continue making these. It's, a, it's almost going to become a full-time job for me, this. Um, so, yeah, like I said before, please consider donating Big Nerd Pub Quiz on Patreon. Follow and like all the subscriptions and the media. And tell all your friends. If you really enjoyed this tonight, tell your friends. Tell They'll tell their friends and so on and so on. Remember, don't go out unless it's necessary. I know we're under state-sanctioned rules, uh, only to go under for one walk a night or one walk during the day and that's it but like try to keep active try to keep healthy try to pick up something new i'll show you i built this actually i built this uh, amazing lego model of the lunar module there like you know i i love lego it was really fun to do um yeah keep yourself busy and obviously keep washing your hands i really appreciate that um it's a it's a, it's a hard time like you know but yes like all your messages for support being fantastic. Thanks to Nuala McKeever, BBC Radio Ulster, for having me on her show this afternoon. Really appreciate getting the word out. Thanks to Q Radio, the newsletter, Irish News, the Morning Observer, Newry Times, Newry.ie, and uh, and I think a couple of other websites that have been plugging it. And all you guys out there, all my friends who've been sharing it and telling all your friends about it, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for getting involved. It means so much to me. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure being here tonight. Uh, yeah, stay in touch. We'll see you again. The next Big Nerd Pub Quiz is going to be this Saturday. This Saturday. Uh, 
p.m. as always. That's the time. It'll always be on. We'll start the broadcast at half seven. The same old stuff. If you have any problems again, we'll make sure we'll iron out all the gremlins. At least we're not going to be using copyrighted music this time. I say big love to you all. Thank you so much for joining me again. And we'll see you this Saturday, 8 p.m. Mind free, Mark. And live long and prosper, guys. Cheers.